Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made that trick-or-treat sign for my front porch. Today's video is a collaboration with my sweet friend, the housewife Glam Life. You guys, make sure you go check out her channel. Make sure you subscribe. You are going to love her content. It is similar to mine. She also did a fall craft, so I'd love if you guys went and checked her out. And make sure you let her know that we sent you. If you haven't yet already, go ahead and click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my weekly cleaning motivation as well as weekly crafts, cooking, cleaning, mommy, motherhood, lifestyle, everything. This tutorial is gonna be a vlog style type, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure you leave in the comments below what other types of videos you wanna see. So let's go ahead and get started. So I am gonna redo, hey boo, I'm gonna redo my porch all together. Yeah, porch. Porch. Tomorrow we're gonna go get some moms. Sorry, I know that's reflective. Tomorrow we're gonna go with some moms. Are we gonna get some flowers? Yeah. And I'm gonna make this trick or treat sign and I'm gonna revamp the front porch yeah, completely. I'm not liking all that clutter. I that about right, kid, it's so after squishy. I pick up this dude from daycare or from VPK, actually I'll probably should go alone or he'll ask for something. Out, out. Bye. Let's see. Bye. Okay, so I have created my um, image here. I've made this myself. I used a font and then I knew the size I wanted it. Excuse the noise that's snow in the background. And I did this on my silhouette machine. If you guys want a full tutorial on how to create designs on a silhouette or a Cricut machine, let me know. I'll be happy to do that. But um, this is done here and I can also show you a tutorial on how to get words on wood without vinyl. Let me know in the comments if you want. So I've designed the um, image here. Here it is, trick or treat. This is obviously going to be at the bottom, and um, I've got the wood outside. I'll show that to you. So here it is. The lighting is really bad here, so forgive me. This room has the worst lighting because there's no light up there. All we got is this right here. It's not wow. the <laughs> And ice we cannot break. Only the tiny. You silly. So, here's my silly boy. You can't see it very well because it's obviously it's black, but I'll show you guys when I weed it what it's going to look like. I weeded this part. I use an X-Acto knife, and then I also have a little tool. You can talk. It's okay. This is vlog style. Um, and I have a little tool. Bye, sweetheart. It was great having you over. Bye, buddy. See you at school. Um, and then... Uh, Later. How are we giving him Oh, run, run. run, buddy, run. Hang on, Michael. I always got a hug. Everybody, y'all. So, anyway, um, I weeded this out. I used the exacto knife, or I've got a little hook thing that I'll use as well. I'll show that to you guys. Um, I will tell you this. If you like this, yeah. Okay, my husband's gonna get me a headlamp because y'all, it is so hard to try to weed out things. Like I cannot get, I cannot get a good visual. So I take my work very seriously. <laughs> I look ridiculous. Here, look back up at me. So don't look directly in the phone. Just look at me. She takes her work. Very seriously. Very seriously. Very seriously, y'all. But this is the way you have to do it, y'all. If like, so if you guys have one of these machines, you're like, I can't see. You gotta get, <coughs> you gotta get a headlamp. Literally, it says headlamp. headlamp. <laughs> I've got a board here. This is a board that I had lying around. This is just thin plywood, but it is solid. Ooh, it's wet on the sides. Um, it is dry up here, though. I painted it with black. Rust-Oleum Touch Ultra Cover. This is what I use for all of my base, for my blacks. So this here, I've already measured it. It was just a spare piece. You can see we have spare pieces in our garage. Um, and then we have like big sheets and I'll cut them. If you don't have the ability to cut to size, Home Depot will do it for you for free, FYI. You also don't need to spend a lot of money. These are really, really inexpensive. And best of all, if you go over there into their scraps, you can find a lot of really good pieces, especially if you want to do something that's kind of put together like a pallet board something. So you can get their scraps. This is just this type of wood here. It is solid, it is wood, but it's just, it's thin. Um, so I, like I said, I painted it. I just rolled mine on with a little roller brush um, and just did one coat. 
that's all it needs because this is gonna be the color of the letters. So I painted it all black and then I'll show you the steps. I'm gonna take this right here and I show the, so the contact paper's on. I'm gonna work it a little bit. That's okay that that's there, it's not a big deal. I'm just gonna work it so it picks it back up, see? And it stays on. And I just what you do is I wiggle it. I put my hand right here and I wiggle back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. A little bit came up, that's okay. Push it back down. Press it back down. Sometimes that's gonna happen. That's okay. I got my little lamp there. Sorry for the shadow. Um, I've got trick or treat completely put on here. I don't know what that is. I'm not really worried about it. Now what I'm going to do, I'm gonna go over with my hands and just all the little air bubbles. I'm going to try to work them out. Get them all out. Just to make sure everything's pressed down. And what I've done, this is the roller that I used earlier. I always put a plastic bag over it and put it in the refrigerator. You guys, you can, and then I just have the residual paint on there and I just do this. I go right back over it. That's all I do. You guys, you can save. You don't have to wash out your rollers each time as long as you put a bag on them and put it in the fridge. See? And it, the paint stays wet, really wet, or in the fridge, so I don't have to reapply anything. See? And I'm just gonna work it. And what this will do, if there are any gaps, any gaps anywhere, the paint will get into it the rolling action presses it down, but then the paint will get into there and it's gonna give me a really nice, crisp line. You don't want bleeding, that's ugly. And if you guys can find a stencil, um, which I know there are probably a ton, if y'all can find a stencil, one little tip with a stencil is usually, they have like little um, cutouts, you know, Connect your lines. Connect your lines. Don't let it look like a stencil. Just connect those lines, y'all. Yeah. This is regular old font. Um, and I know that they have the alphabet, alphabet stencil at Walmart for super cheap. You could do this whole thing with the stencil. You don't have to worry about transferring vinyl. You don't have to worry about transferring um, the little pencil trick I told you. Just go and get some stencil connect those lines like there would be probably a disconnect there connect it and make it look cohesive and then just do your own or see I did or as a different font okay there it is it's wet it's gonna dry overnight and I'll come back in the morning and take care of it and put white chalk paint on top of it so okay so it's the next day you can see it's completely dry before I take this off, Waverly chalk paint, I got it from Walmart.
Okay, now that everything's dry, I'm gonna just pull, take my little tool. You can use tweezers, <coughs> exactly like whatever you want. And this is what I do. I just pull, pull the vinyl off. wanted the distressed look I wanted it a little bit older if I wanted it more solid I would have used a roller brush for a smooth texture like I did with the black paint here is the final product I love it I actually played around with this a lot if you guys follow me on Instagram which I really hope you guys do here is my Instagram handle right there go check it out follow me there and you guys will be able to keep track of all of the decor that I do. I am always moving things around. I can't seem to leave well enough alone, but honestly, I'm glad I played around with the front porch because I am loving the way it turned out. I hope you guys like it too. Please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out my sweet friend's channel. If you haven't yet already, please consider subscribing. Let me know in the comments below what kind of videos y'all want to see. And as always, I love you guys and I appreciate each and every one of you. I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.